Hi guys, this is Eddie Ross from Dishpest. Today we're going to be modeling a tiger and animating it as quick and as um, quality and reality as possible. The fastest pipeline. So we're trying to use um, 3D Max and ZBrush. Now we are in um, 3D Max, so I'm going to use the cut system that comes with. 3D Max. If you don't have CAD system, you can also use bipedal system that come with um, 3D Max and pose your base like this and export it to 3. I mean to ZBrush where we're going to spend time and do more sculpting and get our tiger ready for animating. So I'm not using the biped system. I'm using the car system that comes with um, 3D Max 11, or you can install it manually to the previous version of 3D Max. So now we are only exporting the body, not the base. So we're going to select just the body and leave the platform out. So with the body selected we're going to export it with a format that can be read by by ZBrush so I think the best format we could get is the OBJ or we can also export it um, in other format and and then move on to ZBrush Now, the whole idea of this tutorial is to not get you the details step by step by the workflow like the pipeline or some, some ways you can get stuff done quicker, you know, because you can do everything in, in 3D Max, but you get things done way quicker as far as sculpting and stuff like that in ZBrush, and, and that's the main idea for this tutorial so now that we are in ZBrush we will import the OBJ format of our tiger uh, which is the base now instead adding more detail skin and sculpting as we like because ZBrush will allow us to be more detailed as we want but we're not going to spend that much time here since this is tutorial so we'll be moving as quick as possible so here the idea is to figure out how to add um, skin or more fresh to this base skinny um, tiger uh, we can do it so many ways but as you can see we cannot sculpt on this right away because it's so low in poly and as we try to add more polis to it it start breaking apart so in ZBrush so many ways we could do but we're gonna try to use the Z sphere in ZBrush and to do it we will do it by adding sub tool and add a Z sphere to add more sketch and Z sketch to add more skin to our base cat rig now that we have the Z-Sphere added to, to our SAP tool, we will try to do some sculpting or add some skin. One key, one hard key to get um, the Z-Sphere to start using the, the Z-Sketch brush is to use the Shift A to get the Z-Sphere to be active for sketching so you ship you use shift a and you get started as you can see the sub tool work in layers so you have to be on the right layer to be able to get your z sphere active so you select the z sphere and then shift a get it active and you start sculpting now the the brush size uh, is 1.2 so the bigger your brush size the more you will get more fresh quicker 
but a small light is more you get detail but you since this is um, A to Z like you have to use shifting between smaller brush and a bigger brush to get to this point now that we have the tiger ready we are going to go back to 3d max where we going to start some animation as you can see I did not spend a lot of time in detail I'm going to go ahead and go back to 3d max but here in ZBrush you have all the tools to get as detailed as you want in your project but that is up to you now to spend more time as detailed as you want you know but here um, with this tutorial I'm gonna move ahead and move this smooth tiger back into 3d max and we will start some animation you can use the go Z brush system or you can export it as an OBJ format and take you back to 3D Max. Now here in 3D Max, as you can see, I spent a lot of time to add um, some texture to the tiger. I'm skipping all these steps because I'm assuming that you already know how to get these bases and this is just the workflow or the pipeline to get to a ready then and moving tiger so what I'm using is the cut system and we are lying the tiger to the base so we can scan or bind them together and use the cat system animation you can also use the 3d mass scanning system that comes with it or even the physique but all of them have some disadvantages that's why we try to skip them because we're trying to use the quickest way as possible and the, the bones pro system that you can install is the fastest way that will get you there with one shot on bones pro you can get your animation going and not having scanning problems but the better you tune it the better your animation so now we have it aligned and I have the tiger in see-through mode so that we can see how the base is aligned to the tiger whilst we we have it aligned and perfect we will start um, skinning so we add all the bones to the bones pro system where we will start um, animation so we go ahead and add all the bones but once again we're going to add only the body not the platform The whole idea of this tutorial is how to have a pipeline where you can jump in between programs to make your work so easy because we can do everything in, in 3D months but ZBrush help us get sculpting quicker and car system is helping I get animation quicker so that's the whole idea of this tutorial to have a pipeline where you can get things done quicker as you can see the car system give us the life cycle or the walk cycle and the run cycle quicker without time wasting and if we open the car system interface we can get the tiger to walk on a line or on a straight line or pick a pile for even at any point within a car system we can add a layer where we can adjust the animation or add more animation to our tiger so you have a limit li limitless way of um, doing animation if you have a pipeline like this so as you can see um, our tiger is ready to to roll so we're gonna open the car system interface where I will make it walk on a straight line and 
and I'll do some little composition where we will have the tiger go look for some food <laughs> so now as we are here I pick um, the tiger to walk on a line and we are ready to go that's about it so here we go with a little um, composition I'm about to go do and I'll show you now here we go our tiger is ready to go look for some food that's about it thank you for watching now once again this is Ed Rath from Ditch Pest and uh, thank you for watching hope you get some tips